Security Museo KTN News, Nairobi. The Kenya Human Rights Commission has faulted President William Ruto's nominees to the cabinet, saying the president failed to adhere to the gender as well as ethnic balance as earlier promised. The civil society group also claims that, also took issue rather, were with the fact that some of the nominees are facing integrity issues. Trix Ngadu reports. President William Ruto on Tuesday made the much-awaited announcement of his new cabinet. The cabinet appointments have been met with mixed reactions from the political elite, civil society, as well as social media. Most of those nominated for the cabinet positions are his allies who stood with him during the last campaigns. The president included nine female nominees in his proposed cabinet, this being short of what he had promised as 50-50 in terms of gender. And as many hailed the proposed cabinet as representative, some organizations are not happy with the selection. It is interesting that out of the 22, we do not have a youth. We do not even have persons with disabilities. What went wrong? We are going every other day, every other election time. We are doing so badly as a country. We must remind ourselves that this country is made up of all those constituencies that must be respected. The civil society group is also concerned that the proposed cabinet does not reflect the ethnic composition of the country. Kenya is made up of 45 tribes. So if you have one community probably taking seven slots, you question yourself, where are these other communities? This is just impunity. Uh, just the failure to comply with the rule of law and you think you'll get away with it. So our request is for the parliament to, to reject the list. And we know because the parliament is currently co-opted and controlled by the president, in the event they don't do that, we'll effectively go to court to challenge those kind of criminal and unconstitutional decisions. The group is also calling out the many cases of integrity issues facing some nominees. Over seven appointees to the Kenya Kwanzaa cabinet have allegedly been implicated in grave crimes, including corruption, rape, murder, and have, no, uh, and have ongoing court cases begging the question, is their intent to protect, respect, and uphold the constitution? Similar concerns have been raised by the Azimio Laumoda One Kenya political outfit, which has termed the 22-member cabinet as tainted and therefore unfit to hold office. Trix Ingado, KTN News. Players in the capital market space have welcomed uh, the move by government to tap into the stock exchange to draw capital to fight.